Kwaba, my beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. It's Melon Mishi. Did you miss me? If you're a returning subscriber, if you're new, I hope that you will join a little community that we've got going on here of introverted black girls like myself by clicking that subscribe button down below. Welcome to the fam. Today was actually the day I was meant to film my apartment tour for you guys. However, multiple furniture companies are playing games with me during these COVID times. I understand you need to be socially distancing in your factories and stuff, but don't tell me you're gonna deliver by a certain date and then deliver two months later. Do you get me? So that's not happening today. Instead, I thought I'd do a couple homeware improvements, I guess, and a bit cleaning. We're gonna be going to a garden center tomorrow as well. Just give you the wholesome content that you signed up Oh, okay, so honey, got you. I got you. I don't know why I'm introducing the vlog. Just watch the vlog, man, okay? How cute are my earrings, guys? One of my cousins in Ghana. kind of revamping my space i thought it would be only appropriate to get some new art pieces on my walls because they were looking a little bit bad you know so this part of the video is actually in collaboration with decenio i actually reached out to decenio because i've seen their website i just loved the array and quality of the prints that they had available because they change their prints quite often there's always something um, available for everyone's style everyone's taste um, in different areas and different rooms. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I popped up this poll, um, trying to figure out what prints to put in this room here, my study. The feature that I used was their gallery wall. It basically allows you to kind of um, choose a setting on the website that somehow resembles um, your space and try to emulate, visualize what the prints will look like and whether or not they go as well together, that kind of stuff. Unfortunately, um, my poll was 50-50. After a whole day of it being up, I think in the end it was like 51-49. Um, but in the end, I went with these prints here. Wanted a bit of line work, a bit of structure, and yeah, just a really nice chill, calm vibe that I feel like will always suit this room. Even though this is my own apartment, I didn't want to commit to putting any screws or nails in the wall because polyfiller is not the one when you make mistakes. So I basically use command strips, cut them in half and stuck it onto the back of the frame making sure that it didn't overlap on the sides. I'm glad I chose some Decenio frames as well because they're really nice and thin um, and I'm trying to go for like the minimalistic aesthetic vibe. Here's a couple of prints all around my house um, just to show you the way that I've paired them together. They ship worldwide and if you guys want to try out any of the prints, I've got a discount code here, which I can't remember off the top of my head, so I'm just going to pull the screen, um, so you can get some money off. However, the code only lasts for two days, um, so from the 2nd to the 4th of March. So if you're hearing the sound of my voice right now, this is not a drill. This is a gentle reminder to get some prints, just amplify your space, make it a bit more warm, give it a bit more character and get some money off along the way. Okay? Cool. So I bought these shelves from H&M. They were actually black before because I sold out of all the white ones. And if you know H&M home, if things sell out, it's not guaranteed that it's always gonna come back in stock. So I bought the black ones whilst I could and just bought some white spray paint. Kinda did a bit of a shoddy job, not gonna lie. By this point, I've literally put on like, what, four layers? So it's gonna have to do, okay? So I wanted to go into this corner here. Just thought it would be cute to put some little succulents and stuff on it. Something like that, I don't know. Tom! Can you see that? That's so cute. Let me check this level. Probably a bit too late to do that. But... <sighs> Imagine if it's not. No. 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 Oh, that's one degree out, guys. 
Okay, well this app is a lie then, because now it's saying it's balanced. So I don't know which one is true. But we're gonna go with it. I've just had a shower. My skin is super, super dry at the moment, but I thought I would just show you guys how dry, like when I say I have dry skin, like my skin is desert dry. Like you could probably play Nelson Crosses on my face right now. Is that dry? AHC, which is a Korean skincare brand that I've not actually tried before. They sent me some products. So I thought I would give them a try today. They obviously saw that I was a sheet mask um, a fanatic. So they sent me a couple sheet masks to try. This is the um, Aqua Essential Mask and it's meant to be calming for stressed and tired skin. So at the back of the sheet mask, they've got this thermometer and apparently if you put it in the fridge, it will go green, which is what they recommend for best results. So maybe I'll do that next time. But for now, I'm just gonna use it as is. How cute is this ball though? It's like a little serum bottle. Mmm, this is so refreshing. Don't forget to squeeze the excess serum out. Oh my, oh wow. Wow, they were generous. They were generous. This has just got um, the As I Am leave-in conditioner in it. And then I'm gonna try and define some of the curls with the coiling jelly. I've never used this before, but the consistency looks really nice. So, look at that. developed into it so so be it so be it so we're going to be going to the garden center in a bit um because it's a beautiful day and why not you can't do anything else in the uk right now and i don't live in central london so it's not like there are some nice parks nearby but you kind of need to like drive and i don't have a car so we're gonna go to this garden center instead i think this mask is done by the way let's take it off Look here, you, you saw how ashy my skin was before, so this is nice. I feel like the best way to determine whether a sheet mask is good or not is after you've actually allowed the product to sit into your skin for a bit and just feeling what it feels like at that point. So I'm just gonna let this air dry. Yo, okay. This coiling cream, coiling gel, coiling jelly, coil defining jelly, this is a must, you need this in your product collection. This, this, I don't know what crack they laced in this, but it's really, it's really hit in the spot. I don't know, I don't know. Also the sheet mask um, has definitely been absorbed by my skin. Yeah, my skin does feel plump, not bad. I'm just gonna do a really quick beat so I can go and enjoy the rest of the sun for the day.
stuff in and not the <laughs> It is, it has to be, right? Yeah. Welcome to my forest. So as you guys can see, I've got a little bit of a jungle happening behind me. It extends um, behind the couch as well. Those are just herbs around there though. I'm trying to make this place as green as possible because I just feel like plants make me happy. I like being outdoors, but obviously being in London, there's not always parks and like the outdoors available to us. But we gotta bring them inside, you know? Um, right, so the first thing that we got was this. This is so cute. I've forgotten what you call this type of pattern on the leaf. But, but what is it babes? Anyway, there's a name for when the leaf gives gives you this kind of two-tone situation and it's so pretty. I just think this fits the Japandi vibe that I'm going for and I bought this white pot to go with it because it's just clean. And then I got this little, little cute lily. I don't know if you guys can see it amongst all the green in the background. So it looks like this. She's thriving already. I have no idea what this plant is called. She's given us curls, you know, she's real cute. And then Shakir wanted this, so <laughs> it literally has no bottom. It's gonna turn into a plant like that eventually. Yeah, so excited to see what this looks like once it actually starts to bloom. I've been looking for a watering can for the longest time, but all the ones I was seeing were like 20, 30 pounds for what reason? I wouldn't spend 30 pounds on a jug to, to water myself, let alone to water my plants. Anyway, this one was a bit more affordable, but I like the color, um, so I picked it up. Uh, I think I vlogged this a couple weeks back, but I didn't include it in the video because it was getting too long. Basically, so I made this little little device, which actually worked really well. I don't know if you guys can see how much the roots have grown in this. So basically, I'm just gonna pot these, and hopefully, when I see my friends, I would love to like gift them these because who doesn't like receiving plants as presents? Well, they they're connected to each other. Uh oh. Oh. I love this earthy smell. This reminds me of something in Korea, you know? I think it was like the ginseng or something. Okay, so if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me do this thing where I try a different flavor of mochi each day. So today it is green tea. Um, I've had this flavor before and it's really good. And it's dairy free and it's gluten free and it is so yummy guys. Let me show you the pack in fact. Buono or however you say this brand. Like I'll happily eat these every day of my life cause they are so good. And dairy free, love it. Love that for us. Anyway, so I'm gonna eat this mochi. I've had it in between my thighs like this for the last 20, 25 minutes. Boon tea is hands down the best flavor. Mm, actually on par with black sesame. Chocolate is pretty good as well. Yeah, so I guess I'm gonna wrap up the vlog now, guys. I hope you enjoyed coming around with me, doing some home decor, some decorations. And it's self-love to be honest. I will see you in the next video. Bye.